Good morning, I'm Kathleen Page and this is my Alabama Farm Life. <coughs> so this is kind of funny. I was watching somebody plant chamomile the other day and then I came out here and looked at this and realized that I'm growing grass. Yeah, that's what I've been growing all this time is grass, not chamomile. So apparently none of my chamomile seeds came up, so I may have to try this again. But everything else here in my greenhouse is looking great. I've got these nasturtiums and my zinnias. I have my tomatoes, my cherry tomatoes. They're all looking really well. I want you to look at, if you can see, the blue in those little cherries. These are my blueberry cherries and my blue cream berry cherries. I planted some more seeds and look at that. That is my turmeric. My turmeric has finally come up. I'm very pleased. I have spent the last couple of days out in the garden. I've been doing a lot of weed eating. I need to do some hoeing, so I'll get that done. And I've also been transplanting some of my melons out there and also doing some direct sowing seeds into the ground. I'm also gonna do a special project. I have a whole bunch of old seeds that Eleanor and I have collected. We don't want to throw them away so I'm gonna do a little project with them do a little experiment and see what happens I'll show you that in a little bit I use my weed eater a lot in the garden instead of getting out here with a hoe and trying to keep all this down I just pull out my weed eater and I go through and I hit all the high spots I cut down the grass I cut down all the weeds the fake morning glory, and I just take it all down with my weed eater. So I was careful, but not careful enough, and I took off this tomato right at the dirt. So that's what happens when you make a mistake. Now that I'm over being overconfident, I'm going to be more careful. I'm going to slow down a little bit and I'm not going to get so close to the plants, but I'm going to continue to use my weed eater. I really enjoy it and it makes my job a lot easier trying to keep the weed population down in the garden. I used the same method last year and I'm trying really hard to stay on top of it this year. But we're going through a week of rain and I can't imagine what it's gonna look like after it's all over and done with. But you'll see, cause I'll show it to you. In my last garden and farm video, I planted my watermelons and my cantaloupes. Well, I'm out here a couple of days later and some of them are doing okay but I've also lost a few. I've cleaned up around my watermelon and my cantaloupes, and now I'm gonna go ahead and do some planting. I discussed doing companion planting in my last video, and today I'm gonna to go ahead and give it a try. I've done my research on companion planting with watermelons and cantaloupes, and I've gone through my inventory of seeds and have decided which seeds I'm gonna plant in this little garden. Several months ago, I bought several bags of dried beans from the grocery store. And of course, I'm thinking, well, maybe I can grow these. Well, I pulled out the garbanzo beans and I'm gonna go ahead and put them here with the watermelon. Beans as a companion plant will actually pull nutrients up out of the soil, which benefits all the plants that are planted around it. And I also have a whole bunch of okra seeds from Eleanor's stash that she gave me. So those are going to be the second companion plant that I'm going to grow here with my watermelons. I'm hoping the okra will provide shade for my watermelons and my cantaloupes, repel insects, and also give my garbanzo beans 
something to trellis up. So we shall see how this works. I have my fingers crossed. The watermelon plant is dead here, so I'm gonna pull out some more watermelon seeds and I'm gonna direct sow those seeds into the ground and see if I have better luck. I'm gonna go ahead and plant my garbanzo beans and my okra all throughout the watermelon and my cantaloupes. In my cantaloupes, I'm gonna plant zinnias, marigolds, and nasturtiums. I'm hoping these flowers will lure those nasty little bugs away from my melons. And when I'm done with that, I'm gonna go ahead and start working on my main project. Eleanor and I discovered that we had a lot of really old seeds and we didn't know what to do with them. We actually thought that this spring that we would plant them around the fields, but that never happened. So I got it in my head that we needed more flowers down in the field in our big garden. So I'm digging a trench, I'm gonna add some fertilizer, and then I'm gonna go ahead and take all these seeds and plant them down here in the field. There are a ton of marigold seeds, so I'm really hoping that we get a lot of marigolds that come up. But I also noticed that there are a lot of okra and squash and all kinds of other vegetable seeds that are in here so it's really going to be interesting to see what comes up this is where eleanor planted her last watermelon seeds and the rain washed a lot of them away but there are a few that are coming up she's going to go ahead and put in some more seeds before it rains and we'll have to see what happens our second row of tomatoes are looking really good. I did lose a few, but the rest of them are doing really well. Eleanor has also been busy planting sunflowers, and we also got in a couple of eggplants. Not that we like to eat them, but I've heard they're very pretty. The beans are also growing like crazy. You see their little heads popping up. And only time will tell if these watermelons make it cantaloupes or the rest of the seeds that I've planted throughout this little area. The blueberries are looking really good. I'm hoping they stuck. My asparagus looks really nice. My asparagus seedlings are looking really good and I think that they are all going to take. I've done as much as I'm going to do in the garden today. We're hoping for a nice mild gentle rain to give us some good moisture, but not to wash everything out. I've got my fingers crossed, but you know how nature is. You never know what you're gonna get. But you guys have a great day and I'll see you on the next video.